Hey guys, welcome to yet another video of my series on parallel programming in Python. So in the last video, we saw how we can use the concept of queue in order to achieve process communication um, during multiprocessing in Python. Now let us come to the second method, which is pipe. But before we discuss pipe, let us see some important differences between pipe and queue. So the first and foremost difference is that a pipe can have only two endpoints but a queue can have multiple producers and consumers so it simply means that um, when you create a pipe you get two connections so connection one and connection two are used by two different processes and they can send or receive messages to each other right but in the case of queue um, any process can do queue.get to receive messages from the queue and any other process can do queue.put to put any new message into the queue so you can use a queue when you have multiple processes communicating with each other but you can use a pipe when you have only two processes but still why do i use pipe so basically pipe is actually um, provides you the absolute uh, provides you much faster performance as compared to queue and queue is actually built over the top of pipe so pipe is the uh, most basic implementation for the process communication. Queue is built over the top of pipe and it supports the communication between multiple producers and consumers because it has been um, implemented in such a way that it can allow it without providing any kind of inconsistency in the implementation. Okay. So that is a concept and now let us come to how do we um, implement pipes, right? So let us see how we can implement pipe. So for that, um, I'm taking them, uh, taking the example of, let's say I have some messages like, Hey, hello. So I have these messages here. And finally I have a message END, which will signify that, uh, let us close the connection. Uh, let us close the pipe. Okay. So I have these messages and now, um, I have a function called def send message which will send messages let's say which will be having a connection object and it will be sending messages so for message in messages connection dot send message that's it finally we will do connection dot close as well so that is the thing and here another function called receive message in which we only need a connect on we only need a connection so while so we put an infinite loop so while one um, uh, what do we do we do message is equal to connection dot receive so this is a, a kind of a blocking message a kind of a blocking statement which will um, wait until a message received in the connection in the pipe and only then we move to the next statement let's say if message is end then we break out of this infinite loop otherwise we print the message okay so this is uh, our version of the two connections that we want to maintain first connection we are right now we are using it just for sending the messages you can use it for doing multiple things and here the another connection we are using only for receiving the messages just for simplicity because we want to see how we actually implement a pipe so now um, we can call it parent connection and child connection actually both connections are um, at the same level uh, none is like a parent or a child they have same hierarchy but still just for uh, naming them i'm calling them parent connection and child connection and i'm saying multiprocessing dot pipe so what will multiprocessing dot pipe do it will return me two connection objects which are connected by a pipe so a pipe has will get created and i will get two connection objects at both the ends of that pipe okay so now um, i have got that so now it's time to create two processes. Let's say P1 is equal to multiprocessing dot process. In the process, I will pass the target as send messages, let's say. So let me execute it. Send messages. And in the arguments, I will be passing my parent connection and the messages, which I defined here. Okay. And in the second process, P2, I'll be doing multiprocessing dot process target this time will be 
receive messages and arguments will be simply a connection and that will do it so okay so i got an error connection object is not iterable okay so basically if the arguments you will always have to provide a tuple so i just put a comma there to make it a single element tuple now um, p1 is obtained p2 is obtained it's time to do p1 dot start p2 dot start p1 dot join p2 dot join so let us see what happens here look at that hey hello how are you so all these three messages were sent by the first connection and they were received here by the second connection and they were printed and as soon as the message end the last message in my list was received uh, we, bro we broke out of the loop and the process p2 was also complete and p1 was already complete so in this way um, we implemented a pipe for process communication where some messages were passed from one end to another okay and just to make our understanding clear here is a diagram which shows that I have the process p1 which is the parent connection and I have the process p2 which I call the child connection okay and both of these connections can either read or write inside the pipe and they are sharing the messages between them right so p1 the process p1 here got the parent connection as we can see and the process p2 got was connected to another child connection by connecting i actually mean that i was passing that particular connection in the arguments so that that process can easily use it for sending or receiving the messages right so in this way we implemented the pipe and here is something to ponder which is data in a pipe may become corrupted if two processes try to read or uh, from or write to the same end of the pipe at the same time yeah so basically as i told that uh, you can pass you can actually pass the parent connection here as well right but that will be actually a kind of a problem because pipe implementation doesn't provide safety against any kind of in inconsistency or corruption in the data that can happen because from one end if you are trying to read and write at the same time or let's say you're trying to write at the same time then there can be some type some type of inconsistency so pipe does not provide any kind of safety against that there is no synchronization the proper word is synchronization so we are going to talk about that in the later parts uh, of this series so the queues they allow multiple processes to communicate with each other because they provide proper synchronization between the processes and yeah and that is the reason that they are actually a bit more complex and hence a bit slower as compared to the pipes pipes are the most basic implementation and that's why they are um they are recommended to be used only between two processes because in that case there will be no um there will be no case of any data corruption and the synchronicity will be maintained right so that is the thing so queues are thread and process safe which simply means that if multiple processes try to use them no um no data inconsistency will occur but in case of pipes the same can happen that's why we use pipe only if we need communication between only two processes and in that case they can just take one connection each and then they can talk to each other and that will be safe okay so this is all about uh, process communication from my side i hope you liked the video if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below so that's it from this video thanks for watching